I wanted to take time and explain how I took a picture of M27, Messier 27, the Dumbbell Nebula. Dumbbell Nebula is a planetary nebula. They call it planetary nebula, but it is actually a, an explosion of a star. So once our sun comes to end of life, this is what is going to happen to our sun. It becomes a red giant and it explodes. And these are the remnants of the explosion of the star. It's bright enough. If you are using a binoculars, you should be able to see this nebula. I used my C14 telescope. I used the QHY600 camera, which is a monochrome camera. And I used the filter wheel with filters. So I used H-alpha. It is going to show these remnants, the leftovers of the burst. And I used the LRGB to get the colors. And I combined the HA to LRGB to take this picture. I used the Sagita half-axis guider and I used the Optic Leo focuser and I have to focus for every filter separately. Let me show you the pictures that I took. So I have to spend like 12 hours to capture this data. So I got luminance 2 hours. I only took like 60 second exposure and then for RGB I took 2 minutes each. And for hydrogen alpha, I went all the way to three minutes. And overall, I think I spent around 12 and a half hours to get these pictures. Let me show you these pictures, how they look like. So I'll take a picture of luminance and I'll show you the sample. So here is the luminance picture, one picture that came. I was using two by two binning. It is really helping from an image scale standpoint. And the stars are already becoming pretty big for 60 seconds exposure. So this is blue. And you can see those stars here. It does look like dumbbell when you are seeing the blue filter. I did not take a whole lot of data for blue. You can see I only spent like less than an hour, like 48 minutes overall. By the time I get to the blue, it was already setting. It's like two o'clock in the night and it is going down and I don't want to go that low to take pictures. So even though I captured it a couple of nights on one of the nights, I should have done the blue filter first. This is one of the green, it kind of very much similar to how the blue is coming. Let me see if I can open a hydrogen alpha picture. So this is the one that has those filaments that you can see when you zoom in, you will see all that explosion that is happening. The stars looks very good in the hydrogen alpha filter. So I combined these five images in a software called PixInsight. And let me show you how these ones came through. So this is HA data. Once I stacked the pictures of hydrogen alpha, it came in really beautiful. It has this another some nebulosity here. It has all that bright filaments and all that explosion here. And also like something else here coming up too. And if I show you the luminance, it has bunch of stars in it. The luminance filter is always like this. It It has the same kind of something else on the top, but it doesn't show the filaments. It's pretty bright bit of dust around. 
from the explosion you can see and if I show you the red it actually shows here like an X kind of a symbol which is what probably happens when it explodes it actually shows the nebulosity going like four different ways from that center star let's see the green green shows actually a bit of a cloud here as you can see it kind of folded here and you can see an overlay of like more data like you can see the explosion close up and if i go to the last one which is the blue i don't think i have enough data here for the blue it does show similar kind of a structure i used a process lrgb combination to combine the luminance red green and blue so this is the picture i got when i come when i did a photometric color calibration of lrgb pictures when i combined it so this is the image after removing the stars i started getting impressed how this image is coming and i saw this is a good sign that it is actually showing pretty good image just for the rgb and the stars are like this and it came out pretty good as well and i did the same thing for hydrogen alpha frame i removed the stars from hydrogen alpha and you can see all that nebulosity in the ha channel this is the explosion the real explosion that happened so these are the stars from the hydrogen alpha so for removing the stars i used a process called star exterminator uh, this is a trial version from rc astro website it's a paid software it is working better than the starnet uh, thanks to visible dark for sharing this formula and i use this formula to combine the lrgb on the ha so applied this on the target right here and this is what i got once i combined the hydrogen alpha to the rgb and i put the stars back and here is the final image of the picture i never took a picture with these many details i can see the explosion here i can see something else on the top and i have more data here thanks for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel thank you